We all love him. He was a very strong, loving person. He loved his mother, and he would do anything for his mother and, and, and his family. A step toward closure for one Birmingham family, the Jefferson County Coroner confirming today that the body found behind the Larkway Gardens Apartments on Friday belonged to Barope Williams. Hello, I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Sherry Jackson. One week after they last saw him, the Williams family can now lay their loved one to rest, but they still want to know who's responsible for Barope's death. WIT 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff spoke with his family, and she joins us in Birmingham with their heartfelt plea. Barope Williams was last seen alive last Monday. His family said he'd been kidnapped at a car wash. It'd be another four days before his body was found behind these buildings covered in blood and another three days before he was officially identified. Still, his family tells me they knew it was him all along. Williams' family spent four days staring at the phone, searching for any sign of him. To be uh, separated and don't know anything for a whole week. It's worse than anything. Not knowing is worse than anything. Then they saw a news report Friday. A body was found. It was an intuition. I got weak in the knees, and we couldn't we couldn't uh, get ourselves together, and we just we just knew it's just a feeling. Still, the family had to wait all weekend for the coroner to ID him. He had had a hard road, but he was a good guy, mm. strong. Faithful to his mother, faithful to God. He had strength. And we all have strength because we believe that he was coming home. Like I said, one way or the other. He was a people person. He did not meet strangers. Now, the only stranger is whoever killed Barope Williams. We're not mad. We're not angry. We just ask that they turn themselves in and just do the right thing, and we forgive you. Birmingham police say these abandoned Larkway Gardens apartment buildings have been a hotbed for crime. And in fact, the Birmingham City Council voted to have them demolished back in October. Now, the Williams family wonders, would their story have a different ending had these buildings been gone? In Birmingham, Jamie Ostroff, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.